everyone in this video i'm going to talk about a new feature that we just released and uh, it is for csv and google sheets execution so a lot of people requested that we should have uh, custom delays custom random wait times and then like how they want to uh, wait uh, some time after maybe execu executing like five or, or ten rows in google sheets so we released that update in in scheduling and in this video I'm going to show you how how to use it so let's consider that I have this Google sheet with uh, some company names and I want to find them on LinkedIn so to do this uh, let's go to spices and then find a uh, LinkedIn company page and then I'll, I'll select Google sheets and now I need to add the URL here so i'll just uh, quickly generate the url okay copy link paste it here and yeah so now it, uh, i need to match the column so column a is the company name so i'll select column uh, a and since i have the first row at headers i'll check this box now here comes the main part the main part is advanced scheduling so just click on this checkbox and now this is the new uh, pop up or like the small part that will be visible and here you need to select uh, how you want to wait uh, how, how much how many minutes you want to wait after a new uh, a set of operation so um, let's say I want to wait maybe um, maybe like around one minute uh, after uh, each new operation and uh, for each operation I want to execute around uh, five or six rows um, so I'll select a between five to ten rows in each operation and after each operation it will wait for one minute right so basically uh, in every execution we are going to uh, process around in between like five to ten rows and then we will wait for one minute and then we will start again uh, executing another set and then it will be again like random between 5 to 10 rows so you you see here that the weight will be like random uh, between 0 to 1 minute and then how many executions we are doing uh, will also be like purely randomized so it will be in between 5 to 10 right and then if you want to add a delay even between each rows then you can do so here as well so uh, with a delay between maybe like I want to have um, 10 to 15 seconds of delay between each row so I can add 0 to 15 here and then last option here is that execute between this and this so this is like the time when you want to start uh, when you want to run this auto automation so let's say you want to run every day uh, for, during the working hours so maybe like from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. so you can select uh, between and I'll select 10 and 10 a.m. right and then here I'll select I want this spice to stop every day at around 6 p.m. so I will select 6 and select ok now if you want to run only on like weekdays uh, not on weekends so you can select here sun, uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday right so we selected like five uh, working days where this automation will run so this uh, this is going to be really useful when you are sending messages uh, when you are, you are scrapping a large set of profiles on LinkedIn right or maybe like you are just doing auto follow and unfollow on Instagram and Twitter so that is where this uh, new feature is going to be really helpful and since uh, everywhere we have added like random delays in each operation um, so it will be very really hard to detect for different social media platforms as well with this right so um, I think this will this is going to be really useful for everyone so make sure to check this uh, box when you are running CSV or Google Sheet and uh, make sure to add some delays between each execution and how many rows you want to process between each execution you can define that here and lastly if you want to add a delay between each row you can do so from here so these three fields are really important uh, first one is how how much time we should wait um, after one execution and then 
in one execution how many rows you want to process that will be here and then in, in each row how much delay you want to keep between each row right so you can add that here and last two options are basically time when and how you want to run so if you want to run during working hours you can add 10 a.m to 6 p.m and uh, on which days you want to run this you can uh, do add, add those days here so yeah this is all about uh, advanced scheduling and uh, if you have any questions about this feel free to reach out to support uh, we will be happy to help you yeah i think this is all thank you